very good question because we are early in the election campaign, or the preparation of the elections. The Democrats have a very um, complicated system of choosing their candidates. At the beginning, they had about 12 candidates. Now it's reduced much, much, much less candidates now. Uh, there are two who are the first candidates or candidates of having a chance to be presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. And that's Joe Biden, the former vice president of the United States, and Bernie Sanders, uh, who is a senator, a very serious candidate. He is at the moment leading the opinion polls, but the opinion polls are changing all the time. There is Biden one day in front, then is the other one is in front. The interesting thing is both are very old. They're very old candidates. They're the oldest candidates America ever had in recent history. Um, Bernie Sanders is 79, Biden is 78. Uh, they're old in comparison to Trump, who is 73. So you have suddenly these older gentlemen running for the presidency. And uh, interesting is also that Mr. Biden is a more centrist candidate who tries to get both sides, conservative and more left-wing votes. And Bernie Sanders is the darling of the left wing. So the question is, Bernie Sanders, who had a heart attack a few months ago, is a very eloquent person, a very interesting person who is loved by many of the left-wing socialist Americans. But that may also be a problem for him because America is not a left-wing country. America is a very conservative nation. Which one of the candidates? It will be very difficult, as I said. America is basically a religious nation. It's a conservative nation. It is a tough nation. And Trump, at the moment, is representing one aspect of American life, which is very conservative, very evangelic, very religious. Uh, his base, the people who are voting for him, the Republicans mainly, 89 to 95% of these people who are Republicans believe that Donald Trump is the greatest president the United States ever had. So they are loyal to him and they are very much uh, following him in his procedures. We, I don't like it. Uh, we don't like it in Europe, the policies of in unpredictable politics, uh, confrontational politics, difficult to foresee in diplomatic terms. So, but he is representing one part of the United States and he has an electorate of 45% sure voters who certainly will vote for him. So there is a great chance, there may be a great chance, that he be re-elected because the other candidates, Mr. Sanders, for example, is so left-wing that the conservatives, the centrists, may not vote for him. Mr. Biden is the past. He's the history of Obama, a glorious history of Obama, but he is not a candidate who necessarily can withhold, withstand the aggressiveness, the conservative spirit of Donald Trump. So I would say we have to be ready to see another four years of Donald Trump, and it will not be easy for the world to deal with that. And it's even less nice for the Americans to think that they have a president who will destroy a lot of traditional, a lot of traditional uh, uh, ways of life, of dealing with the justice, with dealing with the FBI and so on. So Trump will be a very great surprise if he's not re-elected, but who knows? America changes every day and we don't know. He could be a surprise. Mr. Bloomberg, Michael Bloomberg, is the former mayor of New York, who was a very successful but also contested mayor of New York because he was a very repressive uh, mayor who was uh, fighting crime, uh, tried to fight crime, and was very successful. 
He's a very successful businessman. He's one of the richest men of the world. He is, uh, he is worth $52 billion. So he's far richer than, uh, than uh, Mr. Trump. But at the moment, in the, in the polls, opinion polls, he only is counting for 5%. So he has not even gone into the race really seriously. But um, the possibility that he can argue against Trump if they ever have the chance to debate to each other. Bloomberg will be a tough cookie also, as the Americans say. He's a tough debater with Trump. He is wealthier than Trump. He has experience. He has a real great company. Bloomberg is a very important television channel. So there is a chance, but is, as you say, in horse racing, an outsider chance. Mm -hmm.